Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys a top 5 video and this first top 5 is going to be the top 5 Kanto Pokemon that I believe should get evolution lines in Pokemon X and Y. Now keep in mind this list is fully opinionated. Not only that, but this particular list is based off of my top 10 uh, list on pre-evolution and evolutions so you will be seeing a lot of the same Pokemon that you saw on those lists on this list and this list is fully opinionated so you do not have to agree with my opinion but as long as you respect my opinion then I will respect yours and feel free to leave your own opinion in the comment section because I enjoy reading other people's opinions but now let's go ahead and get the introduction out of the way so uh, wait that was an introduction okay well scratch that let's start now so the first Pokemon to crack my top 5 list of cancer Pokemon that should get evolution lines is Farfetch. And Farfetch is on my list for a couple of reasons and I'm going to show you these reasons right here. So uh, yeah, look at its stats. First of all, its stats are complete garbage and honestly I think that Farfetch could do a lot better in terms of stats. Like honestly, this thing came out in generation 1 which is also another reason why I would like for this thing to evolve. It came out in gen 1 and it doesn't have any redeeming qualities about it it's not it doesn't look appeal it's not appealing there's that's the word I was that's the word I was looking for there we go I was trying to figure out the word to to like describe this it's not appealing to anyone like look it doesn't have an evolution line to begin with obviously that's why it's in this video and like it just is number 83 in the pokedex it came it came first okay it came in the first batch of pokemon and it just doesn't have an evolution and I feel that Farfetch has honestly been forgotten about like it's, it's been forgotten about like, I honestly think they just like scrapped the entire idea of Farfetch when in, on, in all honesty they could have done something a little bit more with Farfetch and they could have made Farfetch a very cool Pokemon to use like Drayano did in Sacred Gold and Storm Silver where he boosted Farfetch stats not only that but gave it a it was flying fighting instead of normal flying so uh, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that Drayano did that. I just wish that Game Freak could have did that and made Farfetch a little bit more appealing to the players. But um, yeah, that's why I want Farfetch to evolve. Its stats are pretty uh, low, and it came out in Gen One, and it needs more love. So the Gen One Pokemon that's cracking my number four on my top five list is Pinsir, and I feel that Pinsir should definitely get a pre-evolution, if any kind of evolution whatsoever. Uh, Pinsir should get a pre-evolution because just look at its stats. It already breaks 500 in terms of a base stat total. Not only that, but look at its attack stat. Its attack stat is completely monstrous. Like that is on par with Heracross. Like honestly, Pinsir deserves a pre-evolution of some kind. Now, some people might say we don't need pre-evolutions, but let me let me. I just here's how I see it. When a human is born, is a human born a grown, fully grown, or are they born a baby? They're born as a baby, okay? When an animal is born, or when an animal hatches from an egg, is it born fully grown, or is it born as a baby? As a baby. So, in a sense, you would think that since Pokemon are based off of real life things like animals and bugs and whatever, you would think that a Pokemon would, you know, go by the same rule, right? Well, I mean, not Pinsir because Pinsir just he just hatches from an egg as a Pinsir and it stays that way for the rest of his life. Yeah, okay, it may get bigger or something in like the actual Pokemon world, but in the game, it doesn't get any bigger. It just sits there and it's just it's just a Pinsir and it kind of just it doesn't make any sense whatsoever that it does that so I think that it should you know have a baby form a pre-evolution that can hatch out of an egg and then you know with the proper grinding and training or whatever it can become a pincer that's why I feel like pincers deserves a pre-evolution more than an evolution so the Pokemon that hits number three on my list is Lapras and Lapras hits my list for the same exact reason as Pinsir. It has a very high um, stat in terms of HP. It breaks 500 in the base stat total. Not only that, but it came out in Gen 1 and I think that it should get a, a pre-evolution more than an evolution because like I said, same reason as Pinsir. And not only that, but Lapras is also dual typed. So you know, it's pre-evolution could be you know single typed and it can get like it's let's say ice typing when it evolves into a Lapras. So there's really not much to explain with Lapras, so yeah, it's same reason as Pinsir. 
So the Pokemon that's cracking number two on this Kanto list is Jinx, and Jinx is hitting this list because I feel that even though Jinx has an evolution line of, you know, smooch him to Jinx, I think that Jinx should evolve into something else because, I mean, even though Jinx stats aren't bad, they're actually pretty good. I think that Jinx could be a little bit better. Not only that, but, um, you know, random Pokemon like Scyther, Electab Electabuzz, and Magmar got evolutions in Gen 2 and Gen 4. Um, not only that, but Electabuzz and Magmar got pre-evolutions just like Jinx did, and yet Jinx doesn't evolve into anything. I feel that that's a little bit unfair. And not only is it unfair, but I feel that Jinx could do a lot better and could get a little bit stronger in all honest in all honesty. Not like, you know, super duper strong, but just a tad bit stronger. You know, a tad bit stronger would be would be very good. And so we make it to my number one choice, and you know my number one choice is Kangaskhan. And come on, Kangaskhan just they just need to make that little baby in his damn pouch. A freaking evolution like that little sack of shit is getting on my fucking nerves right now like honestly I am sorry for the language but that thing is getting on my nerves game freak made this thing and they're not doing anything with it and I would just really like to see that little baby get a name of some kind like in all honesty I would like for it to get some kind of name whatsoever not Cubone not some Cubone shit no we don't need that Cubone no uh, no I want another name okay I want something completely different from Cubone for that little baby in his pouch because that baby has been sitting there for years and years and years and that thing has yet to get any kind of acknowledgement whatsoever other than the fact that other than the Cubone theory and we don't need that okay I don't care about that I just want that thing to be a lone Pokemon in itself and just do its own thing okay that's what I want and I want it to evolve into an actual Kangaskhan okay like that's what I want not only that but I also want male Kangaskhan because Kangaskhan only female and you still manage to breed no there's no way there's no way you can do that screw that ditto no because ditto transforms into Kangaskhan Kangaskhans are all female so in a sense ditto will turn into a female nope can't do it so that's why I just think Kangaskhan should just hit number one on the list, on everyone's list, because of that little baby in the pouch. And there you have it, guys. We have completed the top five list for the Kanto Pokemon that I think that should get uh, evolution lines in Pokemon X and Y. Now, if you have your own list, please leave it in the comments. I enjoy reading my comments. And stay tuned for the Johto evolution line list top five thing Gerber Bibber do. <laughs> Why did I do that? I have no idea. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, and I will see you guys later.